Attorney General of Ohio in Toledo today watching his demolition crews tore down two vacant homes. Mike DeWine highlighting the demolition grant program and how it's getting rid of hundreds of abandoned foreclosed homes across Toledo. Our Christine Long live in front of uh, the rubble in the, in the 900 block of Brewster Street off Holly with what people who live in that neighborhood have to say about this program. Christine. Neighbors say it's about time. The homes that stood here this morning were like other abandoned homes targeted by arsonists, possibly used as crack houses by criminals at some point in the past. Now, the goal of the demolition grant program is to tear down 900 of the worst homes in the city by the end of the year. In one hour on the corner of Brewster and Wellington... Wrecking crews tore down two vacant homes this morning. Two of dozens of abandoned boarded up homes in this neighborhood. There's a lot of fires. It's like every day there's a fire. Kimberly Baker lives across the street with her four month old baby. It, it has like, you know, people going in and out of them or rodents even infesting the neighborhood, things like that. Ken Hayes with the city streets department says he feels like he's making a difference demolishing six homes a day. It's definitely fun running a machine and you feel good because you're, you're getting rid of bad houses that, you know, become problems, you know, gangs and divineness and most, most of all fires. No city has the resources to deal with all of these homes. The Ohio Attorney General was in town to mark the 340th vacant home that has been torn down in Toledo since last August with the help of millions in demolition grant money. The funds come from the National Mortgage Settlement reached in 2012. Imagine if you lived in this neighborhood and had to put up with living by a house like this. Um, these people are true victims of the mortgage crisis. The Lucas County Treasurer says the goal is to demolish 900 by the end of the year. And we're on pace to actually do three times what was already the record amount of demolitions in our community. 900 houses is houses that our officers do not need to get out of the car, walk through, and see if they're being used as a shooting gallery, as they say in the streets. With these two torn down today, Baker says her neighborhood is now a little bit safer. It's a lot better than, you know, just seeing them just sitting here. No one's going to buy them. Market is bad, so it's better than nothing. Reporting from Toledo, Christine Long, 13 ABC Action News. Well, Texas